All right, the Las Vegas show feeling a rocky mountain high at this point. 7-0 on the season. Can we equal our win total of our first two seasons where we went 8-8 eight and eight with an all-time collapse last year? Not going to happen this year as long as teams don't try to stop Michael Vick's running ability. That's all you got to do against me, and I will be completely lost. But Mike Shanahan, he will not be able to figure it out because this is a computer, not a human. Denver Crush looking slick in the Broncos throwbacks-inspired uniforms. And let's get this show on the road. Deuce McAllister blown up by Julian Peterson. Loss of three brings up third down and six. Jake Delhomme finds Tyrone Calico, but he's inches short of the line to gain. Bring out the punting unit. And Lance Moore running backwards quite a ways. Got a lot of wind and he fumbles the ball. Scoop and score. Touchdown crush. Well, enjoy this lead while you can there, Bracket. Yeah, and all you fans because Michael Vick and crew will be on the field momentarily. Vick. Finds Lance Moore left wide open, and here come the show. Oh, look out. Okay, the sack there from the defender, and it brings up second down and 18, and this is what every defense should be doing against us every single play. Third down and 28, and look at this wide open field. Third and 28, can he get it? Just a couple yards short. Slight delay in your scoring, folks, at home, but we will get to it momentarily. Nice play to Dante Stallworth. And the crush up near midfield. It's third down and four. Play action over the middle to Tyrone Calico. And Denver deep into Vegas territory. I can't tell the yard lines, but Deuce McAllister blown up by Jeff Ulbrich. It's second down and 13. Maurice Jones drew the rookie out of UCLA. Blown up. Hello, Newman, Keith Newman. Third and 16, Jeff Ulbrich back to his old ways of not catching the ball. Trot out, Jay Feely from 51 yards out is gonna miss. As you see a lot of empty seats in the second deck here in Denver, the crush three and four on the year after winning the division title in year one and we can't get the pass off. We gotta push L2 and that was embarrassing. Third down and 10. Vic's going to roll out. And look at this guy. Adam Pac-Man Jones. The rookie corner out of West Virginia. Able to run Michael Vick down. We all remember him. Antonio Gates to the outside is going to be a yard short of the line to gain. And it ends the first quarter. Vegas getting shut out. 7-0. A gift touchdown is all Denver's got. Third and one. And McAllister able to avoid Sammy Davis and get just enough for the first down. Let's play second and 10. Delhomm going deep downfield and a double coverage and it falls incomplete. Asante Samuel, Dwight Smith on the coverage is third and long and get that thing up out of here. Punt the ball back to the show. Enough bull crap and we we're talking in the break room about how I don't do screen passes and look at this, Rudy Johnson. And speaking of the break room, Niner fan, Absolutely flaking on the tackle here. What the hell is this effort? From the rookie out of Dave's show, Rudy Johnson able to slip right by him. Second and 10, Vic able to get positive yards. It looked a little ugly there in the beginning, but he has that burner speed. Third and inches, running to the outside. And oh, stop, pop, find Jeremy. Shocky, risky throw, but it's good for the first down. Vegas to the 31. They leave Lance Moore open again. Takes a big shot inside the 20. He's open again and takes another big hit. But the second year player out of Toledo, Toledo able to hang on. First and goal. We want touchdown and passes. And Rudy Johnson turns around as the ball is coming to him. It goes incomplete. Second and goal. There it is. Jeremy Shockey come up defender. Touchdown. A show. Favorite play out of the goal line. And finally, Vegas on the board with 4.12 to go in the first half. Delhomme finds Paris Warren, the second-year receiver. I edited him in NCAA 05. Third down and one. Deuce McAllister fumbles the ball! And Tyrone Calico able to recover. Denver drive continues with just over three minutes to go in the half. Delhomme going deep downfield, and it's batted out of the air. 
by Sammy Davis, a star in Vegas once again. Third down and 10. Delhomme finds Craig Bragg, the second year player out of UCLA from San Jose, California. Makes the play, this is third and two, and Ed Reed shuts down Deuce McAllister. Feely from 51 yards out again is short. Oh for two from 51 yards is Jay Feely of CBS. And now enough bull crap. Vic runs and fumbles the ball out of bounds. That's okay, buck 51 on the clock. We're at the 50. Quickly out to Lance Moore. He's having a day, catches it at the 40, and we're forced to call a timeout. Too many big hits, injures his back, but he would return. Second down and two. Full back in the way, no problem. Vic's gonna cut out to the right and get down inside the 25 yard line. Buck 25 on the clock. Vic scrambling to the left this time. Field opens wide up. It's like they've never seen him run before ever. And he gets to the first down with a minute to go on the clock. Okay, pass rusher on the left. Let's go to the right and going to dive for the ball. And it goes out of bounds. So close, comes out of his hands, just an inch short. And it makes it second and six, rolling out to the left this time. And goes out of bounds at the two yard line. A fresh set of downs with 47 seconds on the clock play. Action, look out. Then just tosses it out there, looking for our favorite play. How about, uh, let's try throwing. We want touchdown passes, but we'll take touchdown runs, Vic. Goes right into the end zone with 38 seconds on the clock. Here's what we do. How many times have we seen this? The computer obviously doesn't look like they've seen it ever before. 14-7 Vegas. Uh, we got 30 seconds for Denver to do something. Well, they time out with 33 seconds. Jake Del Home, fresh off a Super Bowl appearance when this game came out, finds Antonio Gates. They call their second time out with 30 seconds on the clock. Del Home outside to Paris Warren. And Denver into Vegas territory. They call their timeout with 20 seconds. No timeouts left. And he's sacked. John Thornton gets Dell home in a second and 16. Eight, seven. Floats this one out to Deuce McAllister. Tackled from behind by Keith Newman. Clock going to continue to run. Tick, 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 tick. And boom, halftime. Denver gets into Vegas territory three times and comes away with zero points. You gotta score touchdowns against the show. Lance Moore, the kickoff into the wind, fields it from the 15, takes it up to the 41, and now Vic has a short field, and they keep leaving Lance Moore wide open, and just like that, we're inside the Denver 40. Vic outside to Anquan Bolden, can't make the catch, it's third down and 10. Going outside, get out of the way, ref, wide open field. Where the hell is everybody? As we're pushed out of bounds at the three yard line, don't even try to stop him, literally. First and goal, got a touchdown pass, his 10th of the season. We have a 10 to eight touchdown to interception ratio. One of our goals is to get Michael Vick the MVP. Second down and nine for Denver. Delhomme out of play action, going deep downfield, caught! Dante Stallworth at the Vegas 21 yard line, the Sacramento native making a big play there. And now, hello Newman. Blows up Deuce McAllister for a loss of four. McAllister gets those yards back and a couple more. It's gonna bring up third down and eight. Delhomme alone out of the shotgun. And is nearly intercepted. Hello, Newman on the coverage. Feely from 40 yards. Can he make it? He's good. Looked like it was going to go left there for a second. Puts his hands up like he did something. And it is 21 to 10. Vic rolling out to the left. Takes a hit. We don't like doing that. But we do have Reggie McNeil on the bench if he needs to go out there. Third down and five. The curl route to Reggie Wayne. All over Niner fan. Let's go over there again on first and 10. Vic. Finds Reggie Wayne, Niner fan whiffing on the tackle. And Vegas down to the Denver 31 yard line. It's first and 10. Over the middle to Brandon. And no, that is not how his name is actually pronounced. I just have been too lazy to figure it out. Vic scrambling to the outside, going to the right. And let's just go right out of bounds. We'll score here eventually. We know we will. Second down and four. Vic going to go to the left this time. 
and go out of bounds at about the four yard line and take a knee. First down and goal. Play action. We want touchdown passes. Force this one into Jeremy Shockey, but it falls incomplete. Second down and goal. Flip that play. Vic going to the other side and he's going to just take it in himself. Touchdown show. Here we go again. Lay up over the goal post. Denver faithful should not be surprised by this result. 28 to 10 Vegas here in the late stages of the third quarter. Paris Warren with the post route over the middle. And here comes Denver. Can they get something here? They go Paris Warren again over the middle. And they're on top of their crappy orange bowl logo with the blue horns. I uh, just wanted to make sure they had those colors. Third down and four. Del Home gonna float this one out and is batted out of the air by Asante Samuel, if I'm not mistaken. Fourth down and four, and they're going for it and getting it. Antonio Gates, the young tight end, makes the first down and the crush drive continues. Deuce McAllister. Okay, oh, spin move. <laughs> Dwight Smith goes flying on the die. Look at this thing, whoa. And not even close to making the tackle. Nice play there out of Deuce. Third down and eight. Finds Antonio Gates inside the 10 yard line. And Denver gonna go back to the running game. They come in with the third best rushing attack in the league. Well behind the number one rushing attack, which is us. Second and goal. Hello, Newman. And is that Aaron Schobel or Jeff Ulbrich? I got my white guys confused. On the tackle there, third and goal. And Antonio Gates is going to have himself a touchdown, touchdown, crush. And these guys still think they got a shot at this one. They're going to need me to get back into my turnover phase. Deuce McAllister, the two-point conversion is good. 28 to 18 with five minutes to go. Can we kill off those five minutes? Look, change direction, cut up the middle. How about that? I'm always going to the left or the right, but whoop, whoop, go into the middle and your boy has got some moves. Nice job, me. First down and 10. Vic gonna roll out to the right like the old times. And dive down inbounds. Boy, does that look painful. Just takes a face full of turf, but he's good to go. And now we go to the left. It's like they have no idea this would be coming. I mean, come on. Second down and two, four minutes to go. Rudy Johnson can't even get those two yards. It's gonna bring up third down and in inches, three and a half to go. Play action, and where's the de defense? You know it's, golly. Then Vic dives down inside the 25. This play third down and five, another play action. And okay, the guy doesn't even come up to stop. You know I'm gonna come up field. Jeez. Yeah, I, I, I was talking about adjusting the AI in the last one. Well, I didn't do it. All right, we're looking for Brandon Mullamanamana, and it falls incomplete. Second down and goal. Pass rush on the left. So we go to the right, and we're going to score. Touchdown show. Michael Vick, three touchdown runs to go with two touchdown passes. If he's not the MVP, I don't know who is. Matt Leinart's having a great year for Dallas. That might be the guy. Dante Stallworth with the catch on third and inches. Denver with a buck oh five on third and six. Going over the middle to Craig Bragg. They're inside the Vegas 40. 56 seconds on the clock. Del Home going to find Dante Stallworth. And they're inside the 30 or they're on the 30 with 30 seconds to go. Antonio Gates, the spin move, gets him inside the 15. They call their second timeout. And 30 seconds on the clock. This is over the middle to Dante Stallworth to the five. And Del Home dealing here and finds Tyrone Calico. Not to be confused with Calico Tanks, my favorite hiking trail in the Vegas area. Denver has something to cheer about. They don't go onside kick after either one of their fourth quarter touchdowns. And Vegas is 8-0 and on the season. 35 to 25 and we actually lost the turnover battle in this one one to nothing just lance moore's uh, muffed punt and the crush out gained us by 33 yards if you can believe that vic 12 of 22 for 138 yards two touchdowns not a lot through the air del home though big game 26 of 40 for 327 and two touchdowns no picks deuce McAllister, 47 yards on 21 carries not much there vic a typical day, 207 yards rushing on 22 carries and three touchdowns. 
by far leads the league with 1,181 yards through eight games. Deuce McAllister actually second on that list and way behind, but I can't do the math that quickly. Nice day for Dante Stallworth. Chicago continues to leave Tay-Tay on the bench. They're 1-6. 7-0 Dallas Force getting the win at Washington. Belichick beats Brady 27-20. Brady only 4-3 on the year. And now the game of the week. San Diego coming in after a bye week. They're on a two-game losing streak. Pray for them as they have to visit the Las Vegas show, the number one team. And turnover differential, points per game, rush offense, rush defense in the league. All right, guys, let's keep this thing rolling. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next show.